The second Monday in October is known as Indigenous Peoples Day, a day to celebrate and remember Native American culture in opposition to the celebration of Columbus Day. The city of Grand Rapids partnered with the McRosty Arts Center to hold a special event to celebrate the holiday. Our reporter Matthew Freeman attended the event and has more details. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. But in 1992, to protest the 500th anniversary of Columbus Day, Indigenous Peoples Day was established to recognize Native American cultures and histories and to acknowledge the oppression and genocide they have faced. That is why the city of Grand Rapids partners with the McRosty Arts Center to hold an event for the special day. Kind of a restorative justice action to kind of be more educational and bring an awareness to the greater community at large about the indigenous community. It's a big day. It's a day to celebrate indigenous peoples, their voices, culture, to bring everyone together. All walks of life in one spot and just be. The city of Grand Rapids was one of the first communities in 2015 in the state of Minnesota to recognize Indigenous Peoples Day. And every year the mayor holds a proclamation to acknowledge the annual holiday. Grand Rapids understands that in order to celebrate the strengths and recognize the challenges of Indigenous people, that government entities, organizations, and other public institutions should change their policies and practices to better reflect the experiences of the American Indian people and uplift our country's Indigenous roots, history, and contributions. This event not only gives attendees a chance to look into Native art styles, but also gain some skills on the cross or what was originally called stickball, along with a closing hoop dance performance to top off the day's events. We do like a traditional mix with contemporary influence uh, indigenous performance, so like it spans the, the gap and it reaches a, a larger audience, so like a lot of people can find something that they uh, find interesting and part about it. Over 200 students attended the events on the lawn of the Old Central School to learn more about Native culture. Seeing the kids so interested is what stuck out the most to those who were part of the event. When I was growing up, I was never able to do any of this stuff here. It was kind of put on the back burner. I didn't get to do any of this in school. I didn't know any about this. It's awesome to see all these kids really getting immersed in their culture and their language. You know, kids that are, you know, three, four years old, almost being, you know, able to introduce themselves in Ojibwe, you know, knowing, knowing things like that is really kind of makes my heart uh, fly today. Reporting in Grand Rapids, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. Several other communities across the state, including Brainerd, also hosted Indigenous Peoples Day events today. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.